Uh-huh. Yes. Wow. Okay, and uh, what, what would I wear for something like this? I mean, my instinct is to go with some sort of clothing, but that's just me. <laughs> uh-huh. Yeah. Well, thank you. Okay. Yes, I look forward to it. Bye. Interesting call. <laughs> Phone rang, and I just picked it up. Ring, hello. <laughs> Speaking. Oh, that's flattering. <laughs> what was it? Huh? Oh, the phone. Oh, uh, <laughs> nothing. Not a big deal. Just I'm going to be featured in an article in Vanity Fair magazine. Vanity Fair magazine? Not a big deal, Ellen. That's a huge deal. I know. I was lying. <laughs> It's so exciting, isn't it? I mean, there's gonna be a picture and a, an interview. I mean, the whole kit and caboodle. The, the caboodle was the deal clincher for me. <laughs> They're gonna send a photographer day after tomorrow to the school. Nobody from Clark has ever been in a national magazine before. Well, except for Ruth Potter's niece, who was once in some gentleman's magazine without any pants on. <laughs> but really, this is better in so many ways. Yeah. <laughs> so what's the article about? Well, it's, uh, it's called uh, Dot Commerce, Where Are They Now? Um, it's about big, hotshot internet people, like myself, who went bankrupt and were forced to eke out meager livings in menial, low-paying... <laughs> they put a much better spin on it on the phone. <laughs> you know what? I, I, I don't care. I think it's a great opportunity for me to show the people back in L.A. that I made the right decision to come back to my small town. Well, what about your hair? Well, I assume it feels the same way. <laughs> But seriously, though, you're going to do something with it, right? Why? What's wrong with it? Ah! Oh. <laughs> what? What's the matter with my hair? What? It just, it's casual and kind of loose and kind of... It's not! <laughs> wow, that's hot. Uh, you know what? I don't think people are really going to look that closely anyway. What? Are you kidding me? <laughs> Van Vanity Fair? Vanity Fair subscriber is very discerning. They, they will look at every nook and cranny and burning blister and cut again. Cut from the hot thing. Wow! Why don't you just let Mom cut it? Because there's nothing wrong with my hair. Besides, Mom can't even cut out a Dear Abby properly. Have you seen this? <laughs> it's nothing but questions. I don't want to hurt her feelings, but there's no way I'm going to say to Mom, I need a haircut. Oh, I can do that for you, honey. I'd love to. <laughs> I cut it every three weeks right up until college. Yeah, that's why I went away to college. <laughs> What's all that? Oh, Ming's went out of business. You know, the Chinese restaurant. And I was able to buy all their plastic food from their front window. Look at the workmanship on this Kung Pao pork. Made in America, that's kind of funny. Well, I thought it would be nice for a centerpiece for when we have Chinese takeout. But I thought you just said Ming's went out of business. Anyway, I'd love to get to that hair of yours. No, Mom, it's got to be good. Ellen's going to be in Vanity Fair magazine. Vanity Fair? Oh, isn't that funny? Kitty gets groomed by a place called Vanity Fur. <laughs> they bring a van right to the house. No. That is funny. Yeah. Yeah, it's almost like we're having two separate conversations. <laughs> and I'm talking to you about a major magazine that I'm going to be in, and you're talking about a cat groomer. Oh, uh, actually, he likes to be called a stylist. <laughs> Are you following this? From a safe distance. <laughs> I'm going back in. Mom? <laughs> I thought you'd be excited for me. Well, of course I'm excited for you. That's why I want to get to work on that head of yours. Yeah, you know what? I'm not going to make a big deal out of it. I'm not. I'm not going to get my hair cut. If I was, you'd cut it, but I'm not. Well, Ellen, 
If ifs and buts were candy and nuts, we'd all have a Merry Christmas. <laughs> People are just chomping at the bit for any piece of gossip, aren't you? <laughs> well, no, actually, you sent out that blanket email. <laughs> yeah, I did that, but I didn't think anybody would read it. Well, you marked it earn free miles. <laughs> yeah, well, I did that. But I guess I'm just excited about the article. I'm proud to be representing the town that means, means so, so much, much to, to me. me. Yeah, I read the email. <laughs> hey, Rusty. Oh, Ellen! Hey, congratulations on the article. Well, Do I talk to you about the free miles, or...? That should just be automatic. Oh, sweet. <laughs> hey, listen, uh, do you know Slim Crowley? Uh, thin guy? Last name Crowley? Well, then you know, uh, Slim's youngest daughter, Tina. Yeah, I haven't seen her in ages. Really nice girl, this... Well, she used to be the sweetest girl. Honor student. She could play the oboe, make you weep. That bad, huh? <laughs> oh, she's awful. But lately, she started dressing strangely. You know, one day she's a Britney Spears wannabe, the next day she's a rapper, and then all of a sudden she's Marilyn Manson, you know? Well, she's probably just finding herself. Well, she's finding herself with a lot of failing grades. That's probably the Marilyn Manson part. <laughs> At least with Britney, she's always heading off to school in her videos. Yeah. <laughs> She's on the desk more than behind it, but at least she's there. Well, so can you talk to her? She's in your office. Oh. Hi, Tina. Hey. Ellen. You wanna have a seat? So, what's going on? Nothing. It says here, you're a mathlete. I'm not sure I know what that is. It's a competitive math team. Oh, I admire that. I had no mathletic ability. <laughs> get winded during long division. <laughs> yeah, well, I quit that. All those people are dorks. Well, I mean, not all. Like, 8 out of 11, which is 72%. Well, 0.727, which makes it 73. <laughs> uh, anyways, it's not my style. Yeah, I can see. <laughs> so you're going through a couple of different looks, aren't you? So what? Yeah, oh, I agree. I don't care. Who cares what, what you look like? But I think you're spending more time on your wardrobe than your studies. Which is fine if you're Cher. <laughs> Let you in on a little secret. The reason she dropped her last name? Forgot how to spell it. So big deal. My new friends, they get bad grades and they're cool. You have new friends. Mm -hmm. And I guess you think that if you start doing worse in school and dressing hip, they're gonna think you're hip, too. <laughs> That's what they said. <laughs> wow. Well, do you uh, like the way you're dressing? Well, I don't know. I mean, <laughs> believe me, I wish I could be more like you and not care what other people think. <laughs> well, that comes from being confident and knowing who you... What do you mean? What do you say? <laughs> no, it's just like, like your hair, I mean, it's obvious. You don't spend more than three minutes on it. Yeah, well, that's the point. I mean, I want it to look casual, not all, you know... Nice. I, I was gonna say done. <laughs> it so doesn't. <laughs> Listen, Tina, I don't care what your friends think is cool. I think you are so much better than those people you're trying to impress. I don't care what you think. I'm not out to please anyone. I'm sorry, did you want this open? <laughs> Close this one. So you uh, get anywhere? Oh, first session, you never know, but 
I think I need a little more time with her. Girls that age, they're just so worried about what everybody thinks. They just think everybody's looking at them and critiquing every little thing about them. And what are you looking at? What? <laughs> what, me? My hair? Are you looking at my hair? No, I was just... Is there a toaster in here? What's happening with my hair? <laughs> well, you know, you are going to be in a magazine. You might want to do something with that. Well, I guess so. If everybody thinks I should do something with my hair, maybe I should. What? Where do I go? Well, it's easy. You should have Pam cut your hair. That's who I use. She's the best. Pam? Our home ec Pam? <laughs> She's good? You think this just happens? Uh, I don't know. We don't really get along that well. I feel like I offend her all the time. This will give you a chance to bond. You know, she works nights and weekends down at the shoe hair. The shoe hair? <laughs> Remember that old shoe fair store? Well, Wanda Sink bought the place. Changed one letter on the sign, and boom, the shoe hair. <laughs> Pretty clever, huh? Why is that clever? Well, it used to be the shoe fair, and now they cut hair. What's that got to do with shoes? They used to sell shoes, but she just changed one of the letters. And now it's shoe hair, I know. Clever, huh? Why? That's not... <laughs> I guess it's kind of an inside joke. I don't think it's any kind of a joke. <laughs> Right on time. Yes, hi. Why don't you have a seat over here? Okay. <laughs> so, this is the shoe hair. That is so clever. See, I don't think it is, and I'll tell you why. I... <laughs> so, what are you looking for today? Uh, well, um, first I, uh, wanted to just, uh, thanks. I wanted to just say hi and, you know, kind of bond with you because I feel like at school, you know, we don't really get a chance, so I feel like I always offend you, everything I say. What's that supposed to mean? <laughs> uh, well, let's just talk about the hair. I brought in some pictures uh, from a magazine to kind of help you. Um, okay, do you see this Tommy Hilfiger ad right there? See the woman on the horse in the back? Yeah. I want her hair kind of on the sides like that in the back, and then I want the horse's bangs. <laughs> now, Ellen, do you want to be one of those people, or do you want to be you? That's a good question, Pam. I want to be one of those people. That's genetics. I mean, I'm a hairstylist, not a scientist. <laughs> I know you're not a scientist. I mean, we've got to work with what we've got here. And what we've got is, may I? Yes, please. <laughs> Droopy, lifeless, flat, fine, limp hair. I heard fine. There was a fine in there. Is it fine? Tough love time, sugar cube. You're still on that horse thing, aren't you? Do you want to know what I think would look good on you? A saddle. I'll get the scissors. And just one more touch of spray. Ta da! I have shoe hair. Thank you. So you like it, right? Do I like it? Do, do I, do I, do I, do I like it? Is that the question on the table? Would you, no, I don't like it. What? No. Listen, Tina, I know what it's like to be an outsider, but let's put this in perspective, shall we? High school is a very, very short phase of your life. You're gonna find your niche. I, w I don't want you to be ashamed of who you are. Yeah. Why aren't you here today? <laughs> uh, me? I, uh, well, I, a little, little accident. A bad cut. 
actually. No stitches or anything like that. Don't worry about me. I'm fine. No need to panic. But, uh... <laughs> Tina, some people are going to like you and some people aren't going to like you. That's just the way it is. The next few years, you just have to hold on to who you are. You can't be swayed by peer pressure. I mean, you just end up looking ridiculous. <laughs> Trust me, I know. <laughs> Is it? Oh, good day now. It's Guy from Vanity Fair. The photographer? Oh, no, ma'am. I'm a stylist. <laughs> of course they're going to send a stylist. I don't even know what I was thinking. <laughs> Can you do something with that? Oh, I don't think so. No, no, it's not really the kind of thing I'm used to. Yeah, well, it's not the kind of thing I'm used to either. Come on, I'll, I'll, I'll tip you a hundred bucks. I'll just give me things. <laughs> like a shaggy bob kind of a thing. Well, listen to me talking to you, telling you what to do. You know, just go crazy. You've got a beautiful coat. It's my mom's. It's uh, wool, I think. And you sit still very well, too. That's a very kind and peculiar thing to say. What's this? What's this for catching the hair or something like that? That's to keep the clients from biting. Oh. <laughs> need that for those supermodels, don't you? I bet they need those, because they always look hungry to me. You know, one time I saw Kate Moss at a Starbucks, and I could tell when she was looking at me, she just looked like she was seeing one big hamburger. <laughs> you know, I'm really excited to have you here, because it's hard to find a good place to get your hair cut in Clark. I'm so happy to see you. No. <laughs> well, I was just gonna... No! <laughs> Last touch, perfect. <laughs> Stay. <laughs> that is not at all what I was going for. Are you experimenting? What? No, that's a hot new thing. That's all I've been doing lately. Really? Would you like a bow? <laughs> a bow? <laughs> I don't know. I, I... You're a pretty girl, Lassie. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. Who's a pretty girl? I am? Yes, you are. Yes, you are a pretty girl. <laughs> Who's a pretty girl? I'm a pretty girl. <laughs> yes, you are. Yes, I am. Yes, you are. Yes, I am. Well, boy, that... That was so much fun. I know you're used to taking pictures of celebrities and models and beautiful people. I hope I didn't break your camera. <laughs> well, next time, try not putting all your weight on it. Oh. <laughs> I, I thought it would be a cool angle. <laughs> thank you. OK, well, thank you, Mr. Ritz. What's up, dog? What's up, dog, to you? <laughs> Pam, hi. What's up? Dog. <laughs> well, I guess my work just wasn't good enough for you after all. I worked very hard on that hairdo. I know you did, and I appreciate it. I really do. I guess I'm just not hip enough for you. I'm not down with it. 
I don't get all up in your Kool-Aid. <laughs> not keeping it real. Mama don't have the jive turkey yo diggity hip hop okay, to hip. Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> Easy there, Pam Diddy. <laughs> you know, maybe we're just a different breed. Yeah, I mean, that could... Oh. Tina, hi, how are you? What did you do? What do you mean? Oh, to my hair. I just got my picture taken. Didn't you get the email? I'm gonna be in Vanity Fair. But with your hair like that? Yeah. It's the hippest thing. It's the hot new style. I wouldn't let the city folk know that I'm still one of them. Okay, all right. I get it. Good. What do you get? Well, it's kind of like I've been acting. I've been trying to be something I'm not, so I look stupid. No, I, no, stupid. That's why I didn't say it. But, you know, I mean, but yes, I was trying to. But, but to reiterate, this is actually not stupid. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Miss Richmond. No one's ever done anything like this for me before. Well, I'm glad I could help. But this actually is not stupid. <laughs> I'm a pretty girl. <laughs> okay, here is the key to my house. Her name is Mitzi and she'll be waiting for you. <laughs> oh, and she likes to wear that collar with a little Metal studs. <laughs> Does she bite? Uh, only when she gets excited. <laughs> but she is a nonstop licker, so. Would you like me to bring some rubber toys? Oh, oh, oh. God, no. We'd be up all night. 